Hey, Don. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Just what were some of the things that, you know, you wanted to work on this summer? Um, uh, getting my body right, um, whether that's strengthening my legs, um, just uh, putting on a little more weight, um, being more uh, in shape. So uh, just little things like that. And uh, offensively, um, just watching a lot of film on where I can be more aggressive uh, offensively and how to pick my spots to, you know, get going quicker. Just when a new front office comes in, just, you know, what are some of the things that go through your, you know, head as a player, you know, knowing that this is a business and maybe how are some of the ways that the new front office came in and then comforted you to say, hey, this is what we envision you being, you know, in this franchise moving forward? Um, well, I mean, initially uh, them just uh, talking about how this will be like a rebuild type of year, um, like a, everything starting over, uh, getting a refresh. Uh, so I just feel like... Uh, you know, just coming in, playing my game, doing the, doing the things I do. Um, they, you know, they, they've seen me for multiple years now, so um, it's not like an audition for me. Uh, just continue to do what I do and just help the young guys get better and uh, just find ways that I can get better. Hey, Dylan. Hey. Um, defensively, you've always been, you know, the guy who just finds his angles at the right time, right place, whether that's on ball defense or playing in the passing lane. When you talk about offensively finding your spots, how can you do that playing off of a guy like a Tyus, but as well to playing alongside Kuz and as well to Jordan? Yeah, so like uh, when I play with other point guards, I feel like that gives me opportunity to probably try to score more. Uh, you know, when I'm the point guard, I feel like I'm not the type of guy that's going to try to score before other guys. You know, I'm trying to get them involved and then uh, feed off of them. So, um um, yeah, like I said, picking my spots, I feel like um, that has to do with me being in shape, me being in more shape. Uh, you know, I feel like I was exerting myself on the defensive end, and then now when it's offensively, I was a little tired, um, so I couldn't, you know, play the way I wanted to. So, um, you know, just trying to be more in shape and uh, being aggressive. Okay. Can you help me help you with that? Um, you know, with the injury last season and now coming into the season fully healthy? Uh. I mean, not really. I feel like I wasn't in shape like I needed to be. Um, I was just in, just in good enough shape to, to play and be effective on one end. Um, it takes a whole other level to be a two-way type of guy. Okay, growing up in the Los Angeles area, were there any uh, players such as maybe like a Jason Kidd or, or Gary Payton that you kind of like modeled your defensive um, abilities on? And have you ever like spoke to them about advice or are there any other people that you look for to um, strengthen your defensive skills? No, I, I never really talked to those guys. Uh, but, you know, I had guys like Russell Westbrook that went to my high school. Um, I love the, to watch Dwayne Wade. He played with my brother about five years. So, you know, those guys, those, those defensive guys' uh, instincts I picked up on. Uh, I never really talked to people about what to do. I just try to watch film and pick up little tools uh, that they use. So um, I guess that's the best way. Adelon, over here, man. <laughs> uh, the Wizards were a bottom half team last year in terms of defense, but your one of your calling cards is obviously defense at the guard spot. How do you handle that role as one of the best defensive players on the team, and how do you try to bring other guys to your level defensively? Uh, I would say leading by example. Um, you know, whenever I was on the court, I feel like I just tried to uh, bring a lot of energy to that side of the ball, um, try to stop my man. Uh, get still so we can get out on trans in transition and uh, score points offensively that way. So I feel like if guys, you know, it's a mindset. They really want to play defense, we're going to play defense. Um, if not, we could just be worried about the offensive end. But um, I feel like with this group of guys, um, we're, we'll be more locked in and uh, try to start off, you know, beginning of the season early of, uh, with playing defense. Hi, DeLong. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, what are your early impressions of Bilal Koulibaly? Yeah, he's a he's a good athlete. Um, so far, um, we was in LA uh, doing a little mini camp, and um, he blocked one of the guys. I won't say which name, but he was like in the paint, and uh, he closed out to the three point line and like blocked the guy, blocked the shot, and that was that was really impressive because um, that was really my first time, you know, watching him up close. So I think he has a lot of tools to to be a good defensive player and you know add to his offensive game uh, as he gets a lot more experience. So, hey, Dylan, what's up? Um, you're a vet. You've been with the organizations with 
different scenarios. I'm curious, is there anything in your past that you can like lean on or that you've learned that helps going into this year with a transitional team with a lot of new faces and new front office and all those things? Is there anything in the past that kind of helps you um, go into this scenario? Yeah, I feel like I've been on, uh, I would say, two teams where um, it wasn't like championship expectations. It was more so, uh, let's build good habits. Um, so I feel like... Uh, as you said, like being a veteran, I feel like I can lead by example, um, especially being the first line of defense, um, you know, as a point guard, picking up full, you know, just making it tough on the, uh, on the offensive end for other guys. So if I can just lead by example in those aspects, hopefully the younger guys will pick up on that and um, bring some energy, you know, when they're in the game. Hey, Delon. So uh, this offseason, some of the biggest moves were defensive – Defensive-minded guards like yourselves, you know, like Drew Holiday, Marcus Smart. Um, what kind of value do you think that those types of players uh, bring to a competitive team that maybe the casual fan isn't totally aware of? Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, guards in that, you know, aspect bring a lot of value to a team. Um, for the most part, like Marcus Smart, Drew Holiday, those guys, they're not stopping guys. They're just making it tough on them. Um, they're not giving the guys a Damon Lillard easy 30 points. You know, they're going to make them work, make them have a few turnovers. So I feel like uh, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of, um, uh, what do I want to say, value in those type of guards that can uh, make it tough on the opposing uh, point guards and shooting guards. Thanks, Thank you.